Okay guys, this will be a little bit of a longer video because this is a ton of information. It literally took me 25 to 30 hours to figure this stuff out and I still don't have all the answers. Now, I'm rebuilding these 1992 TZR 250 two-stroke carbs. These are Makunis and I've pulled them. I've got previous videos showing you the gunk that was in there. I've got them mostly cleaned up. And the real mystery on these, as I might have mentioned, was the jetting. The jetting in my 92 TZR was more like a 91. So someone obviously was in there messing around. I don't know if they screwed it up, made mistakes, or put 91 carbs on a 92 bike. I have no idea, but I've got to get it back to 92 jetting. So long story short, I've researched the world, the TZR forums, the Japanese forums, New Zealand, you name it. And I still don't have all the answers, but I'm hopefully going to give you 90% of what took me literally days, you know, well, hours and hours, 25, 30 hours to try to figure out. So basically, cautionary note, when you're taking your carbs apart, keep them completely separate. Remember which carb went where and what parts go with it. I accidentally mixed it up. By, you know, on accident because I had to set them separated and cleaning them separately. And then boom, I mixed some of the jets, forgetting that they're staggered jets, meaning that the jets are not the same size in each carb. So that's why you have to keep them separate. Now, the big mystery I've had with this TZR is what people are referring to as the front cylinder or right cylinder meaning the front carb, right carb, you know, because the one cylinder has one carb. Here's our, I'm calling it the front. And uh, I think it's also called the right side carb when you're talking carbs, because the one carb sits here on the right side of the bike. Now, some people are telling me that the Japanese had that thought process reversed and they would refer to the right when they're standing in front of the bike over here, looking at the bike. Now that seems a little crazy. So I'm going with the theory that this is the right card by your right leg and the other one under the tank more up here near the other cylinder, which you can't see. It belongs down in here, which you know would be the left one by your left leg. So we're going with that theory. It doesn't hold true with all the information that you're gonna find on the forums. And I've even spoken to some of the forum guys. They've been helpful, but less responsive than I was hoping. And they actually gave me contradictory information. So kind of confused me further, but to get to the bottom of this, because I lost track of my jets, what went where, and no one really has ever defined what cylinder is called the front one, the right one, the number one, or the number two, that's been an insanity. So I kind of came up with the theory, which I believe is the correct conclusion, that the first cylinder right here to cross the finish line when you're racing is the number one, and also the right, and we could call it the lower. And this one that goes up here is the number two, the upper or the back, the rear, whatever you want to call it. But I'm sticking with the, uh, you know, we'll go with the right and the left because we're talking carburetors today. And they, the Japanese seem to refer to them, you know, <laughs> that's the other problem. A lot of it's in Japanese writing. Um, you really only get the numbers in English. So uh, that becomes even trickier in the manuals. So what we have here, like I said, again, is the 92 TZR. But the jetting looked like a 91 because it had all these jets in it that referred more to the 91 breakdown. So I had to confirm if this thing was a 91 or 92 brain. So I wanted to check the CDI computer. So what I did is I pulled the rear cowling. Just so you know, you're going to have this big plastic thing in there, that little toolkit holder thing. That sucker is jammed down in here. And the only you know real efficient way to get it out is to drop this pan right here that the CDI sits on. So you want to get the bolts from underneath, drop that pan to allow that black thing, uh, you know, trunk thing, uh, toolkit holder, whatever, out, because you got to pull it up and out. And the only way to get it up over these hooks here is to drop this pan. So drop that a little bit. And lo and behold, I got a hold of the CDI. And if you can see these numbers in this bad lighting, which I should turn some more lights on, I'll read them for you. It's the 3XV-40, which does indicate it's a 92 CDI. So I'm gonna go with the, it being a, a 92 through and through and I'm turning on some more light over here. And so I'm going to rebuild it as a 92 and that's why I bought the 92 carb kit. Okay, so going back to the carbs and the carb kit, this 
carb kit is a beautiful little thing. It's manufactured by Keister. I, I think it's Keister, Keister. It is a Japanese company. I think they've been around since the 40s. And it did come out of Japan, and you can find it on WeBike. That's W-E-B-I-K-E. -E. You may have known it or searched it. And their websites are a little tough to kind of narrow down parts, so the best thing to do is to put in your model number and just into the search box and hit that. It'll bring up items that go to that bike. So, for example, this is considered a 3XV, which you may be familiar with, but it's also the 92 is a 3XV4. So I put in 3XV4 and found the carb kits that go with that. And I ordered the left and the right. And obviously they'll be a little different. And you do get a breakdown sheet for the numbers. It's quite a nice little kit. And then I was trying to figure out, you know, the model numbers don't seem to match up with all the little parts and pieces, but you're gonna get this nice little sheet. I'm gonna put this in my little tripod so I can talk to you guys without vibrating so much here and hopefully get you better information. So hope you can see that okay. But what we have here is this little sheet and you can see the breakdown on it. You know, a lot of Japanese writing, but you can see here that it does say TZR 3XV4 and it's a 92. So hopefully, you know, this is the setup. Now they, they do send you an array of parts. They do send you these different um, main jets. See these? I need a 270 because I'm going with this this line up here. I'm getting back to standard or what was stock in a 92 TZR R. It's not a special, you know, TZR. It's not an RS or an RR or anything. So I'm going back to the stock settings. And what was odd is mine was my uh, pilot jet was a 15. So that and that's more, uh, you know, aligned with a 1991. So I'm going back to this 12.5, I believe. Now, I think the TZR Forum also has a breakdown similar to this. And it may contradict this slightly. They may be recommending a 12. But then they do recommend the 270, uh, what do you call that, the main jet. And oddly enough, mine was a 230 main jet. So that, that main jet actually, those did not line up to any 91 or 92 model. I had a 175 main, main jet in the left carb, and I had a 230 main jet, might have been a 220 even. I have to go read it again. Just so you guys know, to read these jets, you're gonna need a powerful magnifying glass, which I use a geologist magnifying glass, and it's stamped on the top of it. So I'll show you, you can just get in here. Can you see that? You can see what I'm doing, but you probably can't see anything else, obviously. And this is my 175. And then the other jet, and that's where I lost track. When I took it apart, I dumped these parts in the same cleaning bin by accident, and I lost it. So then I didn't, yeah, this is a 220. So I had a 175 and a 220 as my main jets. Now I'm learning that the right carb, which is also the carb that has that big, they call it the Eiffel Tower thing on top of it, the electronic plug-in thing. And I'm not really sure what, you know, that's, Part of some obviously uh, brain stuff that modulates the carbs, but from a single carb uh, component. So basically, you're going to see these subtle differences in these carbs, and you want to keep it completely separate, like I mentioned. The difference in the bowls are these little nipples. These come out at a different angle. This one is the right, this one is the left. This one had the Eiffel Tower on top of it with that electrical plug in. And you'll see this adjustment for this air, air uh, adjustment is at an angle here. And this one is uh, straight out up here. And it doesn't, oh wait, yeah, this one doesn't even have that adjustment. Uh, it has it with a screw, which is odd. So, you know, those are the kind of little subtle differences. And you'll see like, little looking glass windows for making adjustments. This one doesn't have it on this one, but this one has it on that one uh, in the upper area here. Can you see that? Yeah. Okay, so all these little things you wanna keep separate. So, um, so again, my pilots were 15s. My needles were indicative of a 91. My pilots indicative of the 91, but the mains indicative of nothing. A 175 and 220 didn't match any TZR that I could find. So that's where I knew something weird was going on. But my needle, which I pulled, 
was indicative of a 91. And so I bought this kit as a 92 and we're going in with all these beautiful new little parts. Um, they do send you a, a mix of main jets, but they do not send you a mix of needle jets. Now what's a little bit uh, disturbing is this needle jet, you know, appears to be identical to these guys, which I can't, you know, they're, they're, they're different model numbers on these two different older needle jets, but this one is stamped, printed actually with a model number on here that is not indicative of the 92. So that's a little disturbing, but in the paperwork, it does indicate, it doesn't indicate anything. I don't know what this means other than I did measure it with my calipers. Uh, what do you call that little digital thing? You know, uh, is it? Yeah, the, uh, these guys. And I measured it, and that is the measurement. That 43.1 is the measurement of the length of this thing. So I'm kind of getting to the bottom of some of these measurements. And then I noticed that the needle, this is 43.1. And I noticed that the needle that I'm going to use, that's a, you know, goes to a 92, it's this one out of the four needles, is the length they refer to. The, you see that needle here? That's the needle I'm going with, with the S. They're all labeled these different, they're all stamped these different uh, 504L, S, R, and RR. And I'm gonna go with this one because that's my number. The 5FN117 is the needle I need for 92. Now that's kind of interesting that the length, L equals 55.7, that is the length of the needle. So those are some of the things I'm learning. And uh, I don't really know the diff. you know, you guys may know needles better than I, but I imagine they're tapered differently. And uh, obviously they allow different amount of fuel, amounts of fuel to flow when they go up and down. So that being said, I got my pilot jets that I need and my main jets, and you can, you've got an array of those to play around if you want to screw around. But then I've got all these other nice little parts, the choke and the other adjustment things. So today I've got the carbs mostly cleaned out and I'm going to be blowing it out with compressed air, double checking all the cleanliness of it. And you might need a couple of these little things, these little filters that go in line, they actually go in, they actually fit into the little fuel intake pipe. They go down in there. And I tried to buy these on eBay. They did exist, but the guy wouldn't respond. I tried to get him to sell me two for one, but the guy never even responded. I bugged him twice. I don't know why. At least you'd say yes or no or something. Anyway, um, the kit looks really nice. I hope that helps, but you know, you got a right carb and a left carb. Keep your jet separate when you're tearing them apart. And then um, you know where to get the kit now. I'm around for questions if you email me. Contact me through uh, YouTube, what have you. I'll help you out. And the forums are a little bit helpful, but again, they, they sent me some contradictory information. But I'm going to get this thing back together today on a 92 spec jetting, and we'll go from there. And I'm sure she'll start right up. I've had pretty good luck in the past with other ones, so we'll go from there. I hope that helps. Um, again, I know I didn't cover all the bases, but hopefully I got to the bottom of some of it. You know where to get the parts, etc. And I'll talk to you guys later, let you know how it turns out. Thanks.